Okay, today we're going to review the WordPress plugin called DigDig. DigDig is a very popular uh, plugin on WordPress that is used to make this floating share. It's, well, I guess it's primarily known for this floating share button. You see a lot of a lot of places. Um, if you look at it, it's currently got a three and a half out of five star rating on the WordPress plugins. Um, it's got fair bit of ones, got a lot of fives. This is a very well used program. It's got 560,000 downloads at the time of recording. It's been around for quite some time. So it's, I mean, it's got 560,000 downloads. It's been around for several years. I know it's very popular. I've seen it on a lot of other websites um, that I've come across. A lot of people use it. A lot of people like this floating share um, blog. Well, first of all, let me show you how to install DigDig and then we'll go over some of the the features when we can see the screens a little bit. What you want to do is log into your WordPress site and go to plugins, add new, and just type in dig dig. Two G's and a space in between. Dig space dig. Um, go ahead and click install now. Activate it. Okay, it's you know the plugins installed, but you do need to configure this one. So it, it adds a, a tab over here on the left hand side. The tab's got four different uh, sections to it. Okay, so on the first tab, the global config is going to ask you some basic questions. Uh, you can go through here and fill some of this stuff out about Facebook. Uh, the Twitter is really nice because you can have it um, do an at mention when somebody does a, a tweet of one of your uh, posts or whatever. You can go through here and fill this stuff in. This stuff is all optional uh, on this screen right here. On the normal display, this is where it's going to get a little bit more important. Um, you want to check this if you want it to be enabled on your posts. Um, there's two different ways that you can do this. You can do horizontal or vertical. Most people are going to do horizontal. I'm going to show you uh, what this looks like real quick. Again, this is the normal part of the display. So when, what they're talking about by the normal display is this right up here. So this is the stuff that shows at the top of your posts. Okay, and that's optional. You can turn it off here and have it only in the posts if you want or whatever you like. Um, you can configure which items show up here. Um, if you scroll down here, you can say, okay, this is going to appear on the home page, the post page, page page, category page, all that stuff. So that's some nice functions. Um, it does always appear at the top. You can go in here and you can see that there is just tons and tons of different social networks that you can that you can put on that bar. I pretty much just pick the ones that you already use. You know, if you want to break into a new network, that's a choice for another video. Um, but you can go in here and say, okay, I want to put Twitter, I want it to be uh, floated left. I can have either the normal or the compact. So the normal is going to be what we have right now, which, which is the Twitter button and then the speech bubble that shows you how many people have tweeted it. And if you change this to compact, click Save Changes, it's going to change it to where it's not you know, a vertical presentation, it's going to be a horizontal presentation like that. So we could actually, if we wanted these to be all uniform, we could change these two as well. Um, so you want to go through here, pick the one, pick the social icons that you want, pick the normal or compact, depending on if you want them to be taller or not taller. Um, click save. Floating display. Now this is going to be how you set up this bar over here at the left. So you can have different social networks on the left than in the top. Um, which is really nice. So maybe you want to just have, you know, like tweet and Facebook like up here, but you want to have several of them over here. So you can have, you know, different choices in different spots. You can, again, customize the, the Facebook floating bar to come up on different in different spots. I don't think that you can have it come up on the home page, but that would make sense. Again, you can pick all the, all the different things that you need, all the different social networks that you need right here. You can add an email button so that people can email you right from the bar. You can add a print button. That's a pretty nice feature. I like that. Uh, let's see here. And then the fourth menu is for manual placement. So if you want to um, get into the code of your theme and manually say, this is exactly where I want it to go. Or if you want to be able to put wrappers, uh, like div wrappers around there, if you really you know are code oriented. This isn't a good idea for a lot of people though, because if you have a theme that's put out by you know somebody on the internet, you know not something that you've done custom, and they and they push out a change, you know a lot of times things like this can get overwritten by updating the the theme to the newest version of it. 
So boom, your dig dig just got cut out if you did the manual, manual placement. Um, but as you can see, there is quite a bit of manual placement options, so that's very nice. Um, okay, so what do I think about dig dig? I think that it's, it's pretty good. I think that it's not entirely my favorite. Um, but it's it's quite good. I personally would give it four out of five. Um, the thing that I think is missing from it is um, let's see. Sorry here. Um, one thing that I like I, I like the customizability of the top section here. I like the customizability of the floating bar section, and their floating bar really is top notch. Um, I love like you know these hover states that they're showing. That's that's just nice. What I don't like is the the way that you customize the top versus bottom of the post sections I think that there's other plugins that do that a little bit better um, I mean I think that if you only wanted to have icons at the top you know, this is reasonable if you only want them at the bottom this is reasonable but like if you wanted a Twitter button at the top and the bottom of a post uh, you can't do that you have to pick before the content or after the content basically um, so you can't have both, which you know you don't necessarily have to have both, but you know it's just nice to have all the options available. So overall, like I said, I, I give this about a four out of a five. Personally, I think it's immensely customizable. There are things that I think are great. Oh, and the other thing that I think is is really really great is the ability to add an at mention when somebody tweets you. That's huge. Um, that's huge. So I like that you can do similar things on on these other ones on these other uh, networks as well. I like the Facebook stuff. So overall, four out of five. Highly recommend it. If you like the flavor, go for it. You're not going to be unhappy with it. Um, just you know some minor nitpicky things that I would say would keep me from you know a five out of five review. Um, overall though, it's great. Get dig dig. Also, if you like, stay tuned and click the featured review at the end of this video and we will show you a comparison of this versus my other favorite social sharing plugin which is WP Socializer. Thanks for watching. If you like this video go ahead and click like and then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send you guides, reviews, and how-tos directly to you as well as our free guide on how to make money with your WordPress site.